Have you ever found yourself editing inside of DaVinci Resolve and just wanted a little bit extra space in your timeline or even just a lot of extra space and you always feel crammed and like you can't see all of your audio and video clips? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix or at least mitigate this issue so that you can have more space and peace of mind while you're editing. If you're anything like me, then you hate a crammed timeline where you can't zoom out and see all of your clips for where they are and easily kind of fly over everything and edit your videos. Let's go ahead and switch to my main screen here. What I have is uh, maybe a typical installation of DaVinci Resolve and how it might just appear on your screen, uh, depending on how it was set up. Okay, so tip number one is to just learn how to change the buttons around you. And if you look in the corners, you can actually click these little, they'll click little projector buttons, but it's an arrow with a, with a box and it's to shrink the inspector. And so that immediately gives you a lot more space on the right hand side, as well as the left hand side, which has this shrink button. And so that's a really quick and easy way to be able to free up the space on the right and left sides of your screen if you haven't done that already. Uh, another thing that can help is if you want to have a large timeline but also want your preview window to be relatively big, then you can actually select this button right here, which is single viewer mode. So when you select that, it's actually going to make your uh, main video the center and it's gonna become, your, your, your viewer is gonna become both for your media pool and your timeline. All you have to do is just double click on here and it will become your media viewer and so on. Another tip is to get rid of the stacking timeline icons. Now, this is a handy feature when you're working with multiple timelines, but if you're only working inside of one timeline, I actually recommend turning off the stacked timelines or timeline tabs. And to do this, all you have to do is come over here and click on timeline view options and deselect stacked timelines. Just like that, it will get rid of the tabs on your timeline and the button to add or remove stacked timelines. Another trick is to hide your navigation buttons. Now, I've actually already done this uh, and I've set it to a hotkey shift nine. Uh, so you can see here that it actually takes up quite a bit of extra space once it's on the screen. And so a good way to save on timeline space is just to get rid of it. Now, if you don't have the hotkey there, then all you have to do is click on workspace and then show page navigation and that will toggle it from here. The next big thing is if you have a high resolution monitor, but your scaling on your operating system is still scaling up so everything is really big. This is also really easy to fix and it's a new feature that was just introduced into DaVinci Resolve not long ago. So come up here to the left hand side, click on DaVinci Resolve and go to preferences. You will then want to go to user and from here, you can change your UI display scale. Now, it might be set to auto or it might be set to something else. I have a 4K 27 inch monitor. DaVinci Resolve might think that I need 150%. I like to switch it to 100%. So click save and it's gonna say, oh, you have to restart DaVinci Resolve. So uh, with the power of movie magic, I'm gonna go ahead and restart DaVinci Resolve. And you can see already that I have a ton more timeline space. In fact, I would say that the resolution scaling for DaVinci Resolve, the UI scaling, is probably the biggest factor in space saving inside of DaVinci Resolve. So one more tip is to come into your timeline view options and you can resize the track video and audio height. Uh, so this helps with being able to have audio and video tracks all over the timeline without having to scroll up and down, being able to just scroll horizontally. My final tip is to enable full screen mode. So I have actually set the hotkey to do this to be F11. Uh, that's because in most web browsers, that's actually full screen mode. So if I hit F11, then that's going to switch over to full screen and it gets rid of any Windows UI or Mac OS UI, whatever you're using. If you don't have it set to a hotkey, all you have to do is come up to workspace and then click full screen window and it will toggle between full screen window. I also really like full screen window because it helps me focus on editing. Uh, so I can't just, you know, come down to my other applications or click on YouTube or something like that and get distracted. It helps me focus. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate you sticking through the whole thing and watching it. I hope you understood my cacophony of just throwing tips at you. Uh, but these are some tips to help you maximize your timeline space so that you can get more work done, edit faster, and just overall have a better experience with DaVinci Resolve, which is always a good thing. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any future tutorials. I am planning on making much more videos like this, and I might even branch out into the official course arena. I am, have something in the works behind the scenes, and so I will let you know once that drops. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.